Welcome back to game 5, which is Team Islands, and no surprise, both players going for Vikings, I would have thought, I guess maybe the civilizations were uh, predetermined, I don't know. Uh, let's see what this game is bringing us. We expect a lot of galleys in the middle, we expect forward dogs, uh, but let's go for the resources first. Uh, we're at the board with the deer. We've got main gold for Jordan, pretty close to space. Nice wood lines, actually, this one is pretty good. This one is decent, I would say. Yeah, it's pretty big, actually. Uh, team Islands, I guess you do get better wood lines than on normal islands, not sure. Uh, two boars uh, in the back, which doesn't really matter at all. Uh, no boar steals on Team Islands, unless you're playing African Kingdoms, maybe then it could be interesting. Two more boars and a lot of deer here, look at this, that's four, that's tri triple deer badge on this left hand side, an extra gold here as well, but uh, gonna come in handy later on, maybe mainstone kind of forward. And the second stone forward, the third gold forward. Do we see we saw another gold here yeah, on the left hand side? We do see three deer here that could be lured towards the towards the barriers, towards the TC. But not sure if Jordan is going to do this. Not sure what the, what the meta was back then uh, for the water maps. We've got one relic on Jordan's uh, island, two relics on Jordan's island, three. So it's got a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, yeah, this is Jordan's base, uh, Jordan's island, <laughs> I'm correct here, uh, just double checking. This house is a little bit awkward because the villagers might tend to get around here uh, to go for uh, another tree, so Jordan needs to pay a little bit of attention. And he's gonna get the first board with the scout, let's see how he's doing this, uh, we expect him to go for two uh, boards with the scout and then deer. Um, let's change to Doubt's um, base. Main gold in between some forest and this um, little patch of fort is not too nice. Second gold a little bit far away. Third gold on this left hand side. Could be a rest from the water, not too nice. Uh, the two boars here and Doubt actually going with the villager to take the boar. Interesting, first stock coming up for Doubt. Jordan uh, only now sending a villager, so Doubt might have a little bit of an advantage here. Jordan, of course, saved a little bit of time by luring the, uh, the boar with the scout here. He's going around now. Um, Doubt is yet to find two sheep. We've seen this relic. This, where is the other relic? Do we have it on his island somewhere? I don't see it right now. There's two boars here, which could be lured with the scout, actually. And this would give Doubt a huge advantage when it comes to food. Uh, um, but we may see an extra stone here. And I don't see the relics right now. Uh, or maybe I missed one on Jordan's base. That's possible too. Actually, Jordan has four relics on his island. That's huge for later on if it goes towards uh, late castle age and imperial age. Uh, let's see how players are going to react to this or if it's going to be a feudal age game and then bust the shooter. Two, fish, uh, two fishing ships coming up for Doubt. Jordan. I'm getting the first one out as well, and uh, second boar I think is uh, coming in for uh, doubt right now. Yeah, there we go. Jordan, did he get the second boar in? Yes, he did. Did he use a villager or did he use the scout again? Just checking. Uh, where is Jordan's scout? He probably used the scout because it was on higher HP before. I could loot a deer now, but he's uh, still scouting around. Villager taking a little bit of fish, that's smart to do when you uh, build a dog. Uh, get some so shore fish and then, then send it back. And now we'll come to who is going up first and who is going to get the better fights on the early feudal age. Uh, the few, uh, the only a few galleys are up. Um, a war galley, sorry. Mm, third fishing ship on the way for Doubt. Let's see for Jordan. Third fishing ship on the way as well. So both pretty similar. Loom coming in for Jordan. He's gonna go 25 population apparently. Uh, the next fishing ship included. Does he have the food to do that? Uh, he's missing just a good amount of food actually. 428. And uh, he maybe cancelled the fishing ship? No. He is just gonna wait for the food to come in. Interest. Thing. While um, let's see what Doubt is doing. He's got Loom as well. Is he waiting to? Yes, waiting 25 population. He got a house up, but he still needs to wait for food. Mm, so that was the meta back then. 501, perfect. Going up to feudal age. Jordan a little bit earlier. So he's got an advantage. Second lumber camp coming up as expected. We've got eight villagers on the first lumber camp. That's seven villagers on the second, sending three villagers to gold and one villager to build dogs later on. Mm, missing a little bit of uh, wood right now. Let's yeah. see if he's going for the dog first or for the mining camp first. The also villagers could go back to the TC, that would be fine. Of course, you're getting uh, the sheep are rotting away, but it doesn't really matter at this point in the game. Second dog coming up before the mining camp, and Jordan <laughs> waiting for the for the wood. Now he can do it. Uh, that's all right. Uh, house coming up for him as well. He wants to get Borgalis out, of course. Let's see for doubt. Second dog uh, on the way could go for number three as well, and he is sending. That's eight plus six villagers on wood, one among the TC, and four villagers gold interesting 
We do this uh, 20 villages for both players. Third dog on the way for um, Jordan, for Doubt, third way on the, uh, dog on the way for Jordan. So, um, pretty similar, and uh, two galleys coming up immediately for Jordan here. We do see one, two, three galleys coming up for Doubt right now. Uh, let's check. I'm assuming double bit X coming in. Yes, number one, and. Ooh, no double bit X yet. Missing a little bit of wood, and that's the most important upgrade uh, in field lane. Yeah, I'm going now. Uh, let's change again to uh, Jordan's point of view because we want to see what can he actually see from He did not even scout the dogs with the fishing ship, which uh, players do sometimes, but uh, neither player did. And now Jordan is, of course, searching for doubt. And the question is who is going to get the first uh, real hit here? Three galleys against two. And Jordan's still waiting for another. No, he's got three now as well. Going to the right hand side and doubt going towards the fishing ship. See, so it should be interesting. Housed on 35. Needs to get another house, uh, house uh, out, Jordan here. Doubt on 30. And first fight. I think Jordan got the first hit. Yep, yeah, there's a, uh, a slightly injured uh, War Galley, 96 HP. And no, it's Galley. War Galley, sorry. I uh, confused those. Uh, and five now out, but uh, Doubt is going to have six most likely. And he's got the fourth dog up, so that's uh, very important here. While Jordan only with three right now. And this will make a big difference in galley numbers, unless he can take a good fight and Jordan control a little bit. But uh, for a long time, again, Jordan with a good hit here. And uh, almost no injured galleys. Now the dancing begins. Uh, Doubt, let me see, uh, two of those are already injured. Could be sniped by Jordan. Jordan and Doubt both. Same numbers, now Jordan has two more apparently. Yeah, he's getting uh, out more galleys faster here and uh, not taking so much damage, but not no galley went down uh, until now. We don't see fletching yet, it's a little bit too early, but it should come in very soon. And now it looks like Doubt uh, is trying to go for the fight, but he has to go back. It looked like he had a small number advantage for a short time, but now it's the same again. And the fishing ship's all alive, so players should be able to go up to castle it relatively fast. They're not taking the big fights, they're not going for like, uh, like, uh, uh, kills and uh, try to uh, go get the numbers down but instead trying to hold their own numbers up and going back at the right time. Not too much aggression here but it's probably a better thing to do because losing one fight and we could lose the game. Uh, both players hitting at the same time. Both players losing one I think. And numbers still even. That's pretty good. Also villager numbers. Oh no. Uh, Jordan three villagers ahead. That's huge. What happened there? I don't know. Maybe Doubt missed a little bit of food here. I didn't go for the for the fish. I didn't check how much fish there were close to the first dogs actually. Uh, forgive me for that. But uh, now we're in the middle of the fight. And we do see uh, again the same uh, galley number. Does Jordan have four dogs now? Yes, oh, we build up number four. I didn't see this. He has four dogs. My fault. So that's, that's uh, explaining the same galley numbers here. Nobody close to uh, clicking up to castle age. But players are getting more galleys out. Of course, we're only in the 60 minute mark. And we expect the players to go up like in 20, 21 minutes uh, to click up here. Uh, do we see uh, berries? Yeah, a lot of villages and berries for Jordan. Same probably for Doubt, pretty much. And Doubt getting a free galley here, apparently. Or did he lose one, actually? No, he lost one. Ooh, nice from Jordan. Managed to get away with that. And he's got one more galley out right now. Uh, do we see? Yeah, Doubt uh, now getting run from Jordan back so and big fight one for one here now there's the number that you need I'm not sure how much it is to uh, one shot the ga enemy galleys and we do see it again at least an attempt but doubt is going away in time oh one two three really injured galleys here for doubt at this point Jordan same thing so uh, even four so uh, that's all right and nobody repairing galleys for now because it's too late you have too many galleys already in the early uh, ages it might be helpful but it shouldn't even happen you should and need to uh, uh, get the galleys. Of course, Jordan is patrolling his scout here. I'm uh, guessing Doubt is doing the same. Yep, there we go. Uh, looking out for landings, which could happen, but right now it doesn't look like any player wants to land. And we do see Jordan uh, get the resources to go to Castle Age. We do see villages on gold a lot here, actually. That's nine villages. Do you see market for Jordan? Not yet. And uh, it could click up very soon. A little bit of fighting still happening, but nothing major. Uh, Doubt a little bit behind. Looks like Jordan is better in this game right now. Um, Doubt also with nine villagers uh, getting a lot of gold in. I think that's a little bit too much actually. And uh, neither player has a market because they don't have the wood to do it. So I'm not sure what this gold is all about. 275. Uh, maybe the build order wasn't perfect back then uh, for the uh, late field age. Not a market coming for Jordan. So he should be able to click up first. I uh, forgot to mention both players have done fletching, of course. 
and uh, it's nothing that you don't know, so no problem here. Gelly numbers, pretty similar, doubt, now one more, that's not pretty much, and uh, none going down here. Mm, both players are dancing with the galleys, and actually Jordan might start to take a good dog down, that would be interesting. A fishing ship all very far in the back, very safe. You do see a lot of houses on the right hand side along with the blacksmith. And uh, Jordan, no doubt, clicked up to Castle Age. Jordan. Oh, wrong. Jordan clicked up. Sorry, my fault. And Doubt is uh, a little bit short in food still, so he's got a lot of uh, a lot of gold now. now. Market only now coming up. He could buy his way up. Not sure if Jordan bought some food. Um, stay on this fight right now. I think Jordan going back. Trying again? No, nope, going back here. And uh, yep, I'm sticking another galley here. I might get another one if he's lucky. Let me see. This one is pretty far away, and Doubt has to go back now. Oh, this is not good. Um, we do see by food, yep, yeah, price one up, and I think Doubt also bought food now, clicked up to Castle Age, but uh, he's a little bit late here, and Jordan has not the number numbers advantage, but he will have uh, the upgrades first, will get Boatkin, will get War Galley upgrade, and then Doubt might be in trouble. Let's see how Doubt is going to react, he's going up to Castle Age, no landing or anything coming up, and he's just trying to save his galleys here, he wants to go around, uh, question is, is Jordan going to take down the dogs, this is going really fast, look at this. It was two hits, not three, four, and uh, half. And after five hits, half the HP of the dog is down. That's something you don't want to have. And Doubt is going back right now. I can see. Oh, Jordan is not hunting me anymore, so I have to go back here. But Jordan is up to Castle Age, and we are going to see. Uh, what do we see? The war guy probably in here. Do we see it? No, not yet. It's happening. Is he missing resources to do it? Maybe he's missing a little food. Finally coming in. Boatkin are first. Interesting. And um, I prefer more galley of Boatkin, but I'm not sure what is better. And we do see two galleys from Doubt in Jordan's fishing ships, but Jordan still has four. He's got enough galleys here. Um, war galley up will be done. One dog, two dogs went down for Doubt. Doubt is not rebuilding them right now. And he, instead, he's going for Jordan's dogs. But Jordan is going to be able to produce a lot of war galleys now. Uh, the upgrade should be done. Yes, there we go. I think war galleys are. Uh, are they faster than the galleys? I'm not sure. It looks like it. And Doubt managing to get one, two, three. Jordan not doing the best fight. But now Jordan is in position to take this fight, go uh, go behind him. And uh, university is not up yet, but it's coming. Oh no, TC coming up. Don't we see no university? Interesting. Mm, of course, uh, Doubt is up to cast late. He's gonna get the war galley upgrade as well. TC coming up from uh, two TCs actually, and nobody going for no. Uh, now university coming in for Jordan. I think nowadays pl players prefer to get ballistics first because it's such a big difference. And uh, Jordan up patrolling in the middle, or maybe going towards Doubt's dogs again. And I wonder what Doubt is going to do here because he's not rebuilding any dogs. Maybe he wants to go for a little bit of a mini boom and go up to Peerage faster. It's an option for him. Uh, at the same time. Religion numbers pretty similar, um, but Jordan is getting a TC up as well. Actually, plus two TCs uh, and ballistics coming in for Jordan. This is so important. This upgrade. Um, galley going down. Doubt has not done war galley. Is it getting it actually? Uh, no, not happening. A lot of gold in the bank. Doesn't look like Doubt wants to uh, continue fighting on the water for now. We're sending a few galleys uh, into their uh, death here. Doesn't really matter for him apparently because he's. This is interesting. TC's up, farms up, and I think Jordan uh, by now should know. Oh, my opponent's in Castle Age, but no Vorgal is done. So uh, there is something wrong here. And we might see Jordan go for transport ship very soon and try to land out, maybe try to go with Siege Workshop. For now, he's still building Vorgalis, but he's also booming here, Jordan, and we do see pretty much the same literature number for both players. Jordan uh, is. Uh, yeah, it's not building too many war galleys here. It's getting out a few, but uh, not full production because it doesn't really need it. Um, Doubt does still have one fishing ship, as far as I can see. It's getting another dog on the side now. And he's uh, going around, but Jordan is following him closely. And I think as soon as Jordan is like uh, only a tile away or something, he's gonna start and shoot, try to get a few uh, galleys down here. Uh, the galleys seem to be equally f uh, the same speeds. Um, 
might be even a little bit faster here. And uh, Jordan is not taking any hits because then the Gallus Borgalis would have to stop. Um, we do see a few Borgalis in the middle. Jordan happily booming as well now. Uh, 160 foot, 500 gold. Doubt, similar numbers here. And Doubt is still running away and he's gonna lose a few galleys but not too many. And look at this, <laughs> this is like, uh, like a marathon here. Mm, like the red team is in the front and then the blue team is going behind them. Uh, in this game I like the colors because you can see the teal color on the blue water pretty nicely actually. And Jordan now doing the smart thing, going around and trying to search for dogs and Doubt of course is getting uh, out dogs now. He's doing more galley upgrade. He wants to get, uh, get back on water here. Uh, just a little bit better eco than before. Uh, in the meantime Jordan will take out this uh, last dog that was in the front here. And uh, Doubt managed to save a lot of galleys here. Uh, all the war galleys still going around doing pretty much nothing. Scouts still patrolling for both players. Now Monastery is up for Jordan and he will get a few relics in. Where is it? It's here. Uh, and relics are going to help him a lot actually because he's got four on his island. And there might be a first fight. Look at this. First fight and Doubt has good numbers here. He doesn't have more. But in this fight he might have more Jordans immediately sending the uh, more galleys here. And this is a big fight happening. Gonna keep an eye on the military numbers. I think Doubt is uh, still on lower numbers. And if Jordan is taking this fight he might even win this game. Jordan got a lot of galleys uh, here uh, crumble up. It's like 20, maybe something over 20. Uh, that's uh, 30 more galleys. While Doubt doesn't have too many and is losing more and more. Cannot reinforce that fast, and uh, doubt uh, Jordan is still attacking the dog here. Still go down even before the poor girl. Um, one might come. Oh no, Jordan is going away. Should have finished this one, but he's uh, choosing to fight Doubt's army here on the left hand side. And I think Jordan probably now in fully production, full production, getting another dog out here. Doubt resources looking all right. Jordan got better resources. He's got the same amount of villagers. And I think he's doing better in this game. Still, the score uh, 1k difference that's really huge here. And Doubt trying to come back. But now uh, Jordan going up to Imperial Age, but Doubt is still not there and not even close. It's missing the gold. And this means as soon as Imperial Age upgrade is done, I think Doubt might need to resign because against Galleons, with a Bracer upgrade done, you can't really do anything. And he's gonna lose a lot of buildings here. Jordan is going to land, and uh, I'm assuming maybe with the castle. Do we see Jordan on? stone, 60 stone, so he must be in stone somewhere, yep. And Doubt is trying to get the numbers up, but only 30 uh, war is out of 29, minus the scout. And Jordan still in 45 minutes, units. Taking a few hits is something you don't need. Oh, this is not good. Jordan has to go back immediately. Uh, bad fight here for Jordan, not patrolling. And uh, I think I've seen a video with Neely commentating where, uh, like, uh, um, that fleet, that army was going around here but not patrolling, running into the enemy army and all of the ships were down by here. Uh, while before that was double the numbers or something like that. Um, Doubt now clicked up to Peerage, not so far behind, so we might uh, not see an early GG, but maybe Doubt is trying to, to continue and fight this. Mm, we do see 100 villages for Doubt against only 90 from Jordan. That explains why Doubt clicked up a little bit later. But uh, having that early Imperial Age advantage and the military at num uh, numbers advantage probably, I think Jordan should be able to take this game. Now Doubt is trying to engage. And the first uh, arrow is going uh, towards Jordan's uh, army here. Jordan has to go back now. Also sending this uh, fishing ships where he needs to uh, group his army now, uh, needs to focus on one point to attack. And I think Jordan is just gonna wait to get the Galleon upgrade and the Brace upgrade. Resources for him looking quite well. Oh, look, there's a lot of food, a lot of food in the bank. Enough gold, I think. And uh, now the question is where is the uh, Galleon upgrade coming in? Of course, on the back dock here. Where Doubt won't be able to attack. Do see Bracer, we might even see chemistry immediately, possibly, or maybe the uh, lumber upgrade first. Nothing happening right now. So we're gonna uh, just wait for the Galleon upgrade to come in, and then it's gonna be a big fight here. And I think uh, Doubt has to go back immediately. He shouldn't even uh, try to take more uh, Galleys out. He needs to wait for his own Imperial Age to get Galleon, and then the fight could be interesting. Uh, like this. Um, Nine more galleys for Doubt, I guess. But Jordan already with the tech advantage, and Bracer coming in even faster. Plus one actually done for both players, something I didn't see. But uh, big fight now, and uh, Galleon is gonna come in any second, I guess. Now, and there it is. 
And Galen's just so much stronger than war guys. And now Doubt has to run away. And Jordan's, oh look at this, Galen's a lot faster. Uh, and this is going to be a mixture between red and teal. And then Jordan at the point is going to stop and is going to attack him. Doubt is on the way to the uh, Derry tap and Doubt losing a lot of galleys here while trying to run away, while waiting for his own upgrades. And uh, at the same time, Jordan, something I didn't see yet, has landed, doing archer ranges, doing crossbowmen. Of course, he's got the, uh, the upgrades for those and he's got, uh, getting the resources in. Sea troops are coming up. This villager is not going to die and I think Doubt is not going to see this because he's focusing on the left hand side. Uh, keep an eye on this, but uh, it's not even in the line of sight for Doubt, I guess. No, just. Oh, we could see it if he. Uh, but we see it in the minimum. I don't really see the siege workshop here. Instead, big fight happening on the left hand side. Numbers advantage for Doubt, maybe, but fighting advantage for, Jor for Jordan because he's got more galleons in range. Upgrades are the same right now. And uh, only advantage for Doubt is that he's got the dogs really close. But um, Jordan, I think, is still getting more galleons in. And on the right hand side, we're just sending his crossbows. Not sending them yet, but he might do that anytime. And as soon as he does, Doubt will be in trouble because then he has to fight in two fronts and it's really hard to do. And numbers similar for both players. That means uh, Doubt has more galleons because Jordan has a few crossbowmen out on the right hand side. But now he's trying to engage and uh, Doubt uh, has to react to this. And uh, Ram coming into the TC. At this point, uh, Jordan is just going away. Uh, interesting to see that Doubt is getting the numbers advantage in the water here, but he doesn't have anything to, to fight those crossbowmen here. He's trying to get the ram down with the villagers. It's not the right thing to do, but he's uh, controlling the galleons rather than these villagers right now. Going back only now, losing a lot of villagers here. And uh, this should be interesting. We might see GG very soon if Jordan can take water. If Doubt is controlling the water, and looks like Doubt is a lot more galleons out actually, then we might see a longer fight. Um, let's see what uh, Jordan can do. Arbalest is uh, done, not fully upgraded, but uh, big upgrades and cap ram, of course. So we might see a big push on the right hand side now. Five archers and two siege workshops this is a lot. And more villagers will go down. Villager numbers, only a little bit more for Jordan. And Doubt is controlling the water suddenly. Very, very nice comeback here, very strong comeback indeed. And uh, Jordan needs to get the numbers up. Resources for Doubt looking okay. Resources for Jordan rather low. He's, get, he's getting a castle up somewhere. Where is he putting the castle? Where on the shoreline? Or is he going forward with the castle? I saw the drop of 650 stone. Protecting this gold, probably a smart thing to do. Doubt is trying to engage on the water. Jordan, of course, is going back. Doubt has a lot more galleons here. Look at this. And uh, now a few mangonels coming up. Is this good? Because Jordan has to fight uh, two sides, uh, of course, as well. However, is good against mangonels but um, they can go down really fast as well. Jordan losing the water here and the water is important on Team Islands, I don't need to tell you that. Doubt has a lot of galleons now. Doubt uh, is uh, lower on villagers and he's losing the siege workshop, he's gonna lose these archer rangers. Quick castle coming up, a few villagers will go down but this castle is gonna stop the push for um, few minutes maybe. Uh, the Mangonels now in the upper left, uh, but ooh, Doubt has to go back here. Doubt is controlling the water now. Jordan's war galleys are going around and I think Jordan is going to lose quite a few dogs here. But if Jordan of course is focusing on the right hand side now. This castle is not going up yet. Interesting. I think Doubt should finish this castle. He's starting again and he should be able to do so. At least Grimsh has done for Jordan as well. He's uh, still in his school lead. Mm, galleons uh, trying to get a few skirmishes and arbiters down, but uh, Jordan is fighting in the middle and Doubt in the meantime trying to get those dogs down of course. Uh, he's con fully uh, got fully water uh, full water control but Jordan going up for more dogs on the left hand side immediately and Doubt's eco not looking too good. A lot of idle villages here. Um, idle serve for Jordan it's the same. The castle is finally up so Jordan has to go back for now. It doesn't have trebuchets here so he's gonna have to wait a little bit maybe for more of those uh, cap rams. Nice castle placement because there is not much space for the rams to attack the castle and of course uh, Doubt is trying to control his own coastline and get as many kills as possible. Mm, he's got the relic in that was on his island and uh, water control still for doubt. He's got a lot more military units but Jordan barely in the score lead. And only 800 points now and um, let's see that's doubt. A lot of uh, wood and gold in the bank. Not much food though and that's a problem for him. He doesn't have many farms up. 
can go more and more galleons, he can go... Yeah, skirmishers cost food, that's a problem for him. He could go Arbalest. Uh, I'm not sure if he researched them, I don't think so. And he can do a lot of galleons here, but uh, Jordan has done the damage, I think. He's uh, done a really good job here. Uh, the Manganals behind the castle, we'll make sure that this castle is staying up. Trebuchet even coming out for Doubt right now. And Doubt is uh, trying to surround Jordan's island as well, but Jordan should be fine for the time being. Is to take a go this castle in a very nice position. And now uh, Jordan is going back on the water and trying to fight Doubt's army on the water, trying to fight the Galleons here. Doesn't have the numbers yet, Doubt has a lot more numbers though. But uh, if Jordan can do enough damage on Doubt's island, then I think he might get back on water. And uh, losing the water uh, like big time, losing all the guidance, that's what's uh, killing in this game. Uh, game going 45 minutes and uh, we are in mid period age, we're almost in late period age. Should be interesting to see who's got, yeah, Jordan got more gold, that's uh, four relics. Uh, but cannon guidance coming in for doubt, this should be interesting. He wants to take this castle down I guess. And numbers um, now pretty even. Uh, that was a misclick. The cavalry uh, still a few rams out, and uh, doubt is a lot of elite skirmishes now as well as the mangonel. So on water we might have even numbers. Mm, check very fast. Warship 61, warship 42. Actually, there's a big difference here. Uh, Jordan doesn't have nearly uh, enough more uh, galleons to, to fight this, I guess. And uh, the questions are: this, uh, is all, Are all uh, Jordan's galleons here? Are they fighting? Are they going back? Oh, this is a bad patrol. Look at this. Jordan needs to group his, uh, his army again, and uh, he's, he's still focusing on this uh, little forward here. In danger of losing the siege workshop, which is uh, oh, researching siege ram. Very important. Villagers are not engaging, not trying to take this uh, ra these rams down yet. And as soon as the siege ram upgrade is done, this might be trouble for for doubt here. Jordan, of course, sending elite skirmishers now. Uh, fight on the border is happening, and uh, doubt in a bad position here because his, his army is uh, uh, split up in two groups. And those siege rams are slowly but surely taking on the castle. Two of them are very low HP. They will go down. The last one standing. I think the castle should barely survive, should barely keep standing here. Um, uh, now repairing, of course. So it's gonna uh, stay up for now. But Jordan is gonna send more sea trams as soon as he can afford it. He's out fighting on the left hand side because you could see the cannon galleons on the right hand side. Uh, doubt still has a few galleons up. And uh, numbers advanced for doubt 20 more military units. Uh, doubt. Uh, Jordan losing a few uh, dogs here, of course, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what is better, having two groups and fighting on both sides or having one group. And I think Jordan should just focus on one side and get rid of that, uh, that naval army here for Doubt. Uh, it's got one galley in the back, very nice position here, a sea tram, not sure what it's hitting, what it's trying to go for. And uh, yeah, Doubt actually managed to defend this one pretty well and still managing to hold the army control. He's got a lot of idle galleons here and those are not doing anything for him. I think he should send them back. Uh, maybe Jordan is going to try and get them. He's protecting this gold as well. Uh, but now Jordan... Oh, what's happening? It's going faster now. Sure. Jordan has to go back and uh, Doubt is attacking from two sides, going back and forth like a guerrilla tactic here. Getting rid of these siege workshops uh, using only mangonels apparently. This trap will come out very soon if you can afford it, or maybe rams here. And then the question is who is going to win water? Because I don't think another landing will occur too easily. Both players know their coastlines right now. And uh, Doubt has still a lot more galleons. Not in the score lead, but it's so close right now. I'm not sure if uh, Jordan went wrong. I think he uh, neglected the uh, galleon production a little bit, or the war galley production past late. And that was a mistake for him. He couldn't take the water. He went for uh, for the um, early aggression on Doubt's Island, but maybe a little bit too early. And from right now, for me, Doubt is uh, the favorite here to win this because he's just got so many more uh, galleons. Still 14, I think. Mm, or maybe it's not. Could be similar right now uh, because Doubt has more army out on this on his island now, more infantry or more uh, non-naval army. A uh, big fight happening on the left hand side, Jordan not fighting with full army, but of course Doubt isn't either. I think Jordan should take this, he has more numbers, I thought. Castle coming up for Doubt, now very nice position as well, this should be an interesting fighting place. Uh, another castle being put up by Jordan here, that's a nice one as well. Uh, going for a lumber camp here, and a mining camp for Jordan. Those guardians are still idle, uh, just standing around doing nothing, I don't like this. And Jordan now sending a few guardians around. Mm, sea trams against battery rams, a fight happening, doesn't really matter anymore because Jordan I think is gonna uh, concentrate on water now. 
might even start to get a few siege frames here to take up a little bit of fire and um, while we see the sea tram is still alive, the siege workshops are down, of course Jordan doesn't have villages on Doubt's Island anymore. And uh, military numbers now are still higher for Doubt. Let's check, we are on Jordan's point of view with 71 warships going for Doubt, 75, really really similar here. And big fight happening now, uh, Kelling Galen hitting that castle, it's not going down but uh, Doubt is going back a little bit. And uh, Jordan needs to make sure that not run into this castle. This could be very dangerous for either side to take a fight here. Jordan is taking the fight. And, oh, I'm wrong. Jordan, no, Jordan has more builds, but Stout is still more military units. And um, Jordan has to go back right now. Uh, Galleons on, uh, all around. Few lead skirmishers still on the field, but it's the minor fighting. The big fights are going to happen on this left hand side where the castles and all the galleons are. No Scallions still doing nothing for Doubt here, I don't really like this. But Jordan has a problem with this castle, he cannot really engage. And his own castle is getting uh, attacked from this cannon galleon here. So uh, the question is who is taking the water now and who has more gold? It's uh, coming down to the question of gold. Doubt right now on 400, Jordan on 2k gold, something I didn't even check. 4k with 2k gold, so Jordan should have the advantage still. And seeing those resources, I think Jordan, uh, <laughs> for me, the favorite again. Going around, but uh, Doubt is going to take care of those galleons. At the same time, he's trying to hunt down Jordan's galleons, and he might get this castle in the long run. A few villagers now are sent to repair, and Jordan is taking a good fight here. I think he's got the numbers advantage. Uh, galleons again controlling your way. Not the perfect um, army control here, but uh, Doubt not taking the best fight either. Let's see, I guess I can't even group them all. Uh, yeah, not possible, that's more than 40 units and a big fight in the middle. I this might be the deciding fight of this game. Mm, 55 minutes Team Islands game already. And uh, Jordan losing a lot of military units. Wow, no, what is uh, military? Wow, that's not good. Look at this. Doubt, doubt taking a huge fight. How did this happen? I thought Jordan had so much galleons out, but he did the bad fight here. Look at this. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even sure how this happened, but uh, Doubt right now in a very strong position. This should not have happened. This uh, is going to cost you the game if you get it. Uh, if doubt is doing the right thing now. And uh, those guys can't get out. But uh, Jordan apparently took a very bad fight. Bad patrolling here as uh, Galleons weren't fighting all the time. And now Doubt controlling the middle, controlling most of the map here. Now the Galleons around are alright because they're covering a little bit of wood. And while uh, Doubt's troop population Jordan only on 160. And he's taking this fight now, something that he shouldn't do. He's got so many resources that he cannot produce fast enough. Maybe he doesn't have enough dogs here. Maybe he forgot to produce more galleons. And Doubt is getting more and more of uh, Jordan's galleons and uh, he might take this game right now. This is not looking good for Jordan at this point. One turning point, one big fight. And right now Doubt uh, is looking pretty comfortable here. Mm, let's see how long this fight takes and uh, if it's going to be over after that. Because Jordan is trying to fight this and uh, sure but the same upgrades as far as I can see. So I'm not sure why Doubt is winning this. I think Jordan should have the same numbers here. There's still a few gallons around and never forget those. But 80 against 50 units. Okay, uh, I, <laughs> I can see that uh, Doubt is doing better. Jordan is split group here, but even here Doubt has more gallons. I think and more gallons fighting that is. Uh, Jordan going back right now, going around, building more dogs. But Doubt has a lot of dogs as well. Look at the coastline. Now even sending more cannon gallons. He's got four or five, oh, I think four right now. And he's going to be able to get this stop down. Jordan producing like a champ, but he's losing a lot of galleons that he's producing. And uh, he's going around now. He will try to come back once again. And he's still got good resources. Uh, while Doubt is pretty low on gold. I guess the market price is pretty down under. Actually, wood is uh, pretty nice. Uh, but uh, it's expected because you want wood and gold. So the food price is very, very low. And uh, Doubt is now uh, starting to take down dogs, uh, as long as there is no galleons, uh, stock might go down really fast. Now another shot, no, Doubt is going back, uh, trying to group his army again. This castle I think will go down now and uh, was a very, very strong castle here, as long as Doubt, uh, Jordan was fighting here. Right now Jordan trying to go back, but Doubt is still controlling the middle, so Jordan would have to go around, it's taking a very long time. and. Doubt now going to the left hand side or is he going to engage here? I'm not sure yet. Uh, Jordan trying to engage and uh, it 
it's an okay fight, but the Cannibals are gonna uh, help the, uh, the Galleons to take down Jordan's army here. A lot of villagers repairing, uh, and at the same time, in the middle of uh, fight is occurring, but uh, still 25 more military units for Daud. And uh, that's a little bit more for him then. Jordan again going back and is taking more and more hits. There's a few galleons going down while he's uh, going away, and maybe should have engaged. Um, Galleon still alive, the castle is standing for now, but Short is losing a lot of galleons and uh, yeah, he might be able to take down the galleons now. Then he could have uh, go for a ball galleon for the cannon galleons. Uh, in the middle, uh, interesting fight because uh, Jordan is, uh, Doubt is going to the left hand side, so Jordan can take a few free galleons, but uh, Doubt wants to make sure that he can take this castle down, so he's now grouping his, his galleons and positioning is so important here. Jordan just cannot group all his galleons. There's a few on the left hand side, there's uh, the big army on the right hand side, but he cannot get around. And as soon as he's got all his galleons here, it might be uh, might be getting interesting. Um, only 300 points difference, very, very strong game, very long game actually. And uh, Jordan has to go back again. I think he should try to, to go around, to try to get the galleons here, try to take a fight, and just let all the galleons fight here. 90 against 74 military units, so pretty equal numbers here in the middle. And gold uh, now low for Jordan as well, same amount for Doubt here, so pretty equal. Jordan now trying to engage, but again the army is too far apart and Jordan is going away again. This is not the fights that you want to take. This is good now, there's a lot of galleons in for, for Jordan. Uh, this is looking good. Doubt's galleons are not fighting and Jordan might uh, turn the fight here, turn the game a little bit. Engaging on the left hand side as well. Oh, this is dangerous for Doubt. Look at this. Uh, now it comes down to numbers, and I cannot check right now. I don't know how many uh, Galleons are fighting here, but this might actually be the deciding fight, unless uh, one player is going back again. Now, of course, gold is low for both players, and Jordan might start to sell wood even. Uh, both players creating and uh, producing as many Galleons as they can and as fast as they can. No, not good for Jordan. Not sure what that was. He's going back again, but he is uh, repatrolling and uh, he's going to engage very soon. Now taking a few free hits needs to uh, get this galleons to the fight. Same for Doubt, he's got a lot of galleons here, but he need to fight. And uh, nice positioning now for Jordan. He's going to take down a lot of the galleons, uh, Doubt's galleons here. He's got a good number uh, on the left hand side. Looking good. Doubt doesn't have too many military units left. Um, uh, 70 against 63, it's pretty even numbers. And Jordan has more numbers on the front here. Only two galleons moving around here and a few here, but uh, Doubt has more idle galleons uh, behind Jordan's island here. That's not good, that's like 10, 9, 11 maybe. So, pretty equal fight. And I think Jordan, yeah, is uh, 300 points in the score lead now. And he's taking a very good fight here. Doubt should uh, not have allowed Jordan to group his army. This has happened right now. 62 against 56, so pretty much even numbers here. And the fight still continuing. Um, Doubt now for the gold. He's spending the gold, of course. And Jordan, a lot of wood in the bank, so it's looking a little bit better in that regard. Same amount of military numbers now uh, on the islands. Nothing happening. A uh, few elite skirmishes going down to the scallions. Castle up here for Doubt. But uh, still an open fight. Look at this. Da uh, Jordan managing to group all his scallions now. And I think that's what he needed. Doubt running into the castle again. Jordan managed to, uh, to save this castle. Taking the wood on the left hand side. Now, yeah, wood might be a problem later on as well. Uh, the wood lines uh, are getting uh, worse for both players. And you have to take wood from the shoreline then. And I think uh, Jordan has more wood on his island. That's very important. Look at Doubt's island. This is not looking good. This wood is on the shoreline, but uh, Jordan is controlling it right now. I think Doubt needs to go and secure the wood lines now. And Jordan apparently has more wood, and this might decide the game, which is not what you want to have here. But uh, that's happening, of course. Uh, Jordan had the better map with the four relics. Big fight happening on the left hand side now. Now, Turo's got more numbers, military numbers, pretty much the same. Question is who's taking the better fight. For now, Jordan had more galleons firing than Doubt. Doubt is uh, reinforcing here, sending more galleons in. And in the middle, Jordan is winning. Doubt is grouping the galleons around the castle. Smart thing to do. Still idle galleons, I don't like them. That's not good. This is not what should happen for Doubt. And Doubt is 30 population behind. Jordan now more military units. The wolves. Might be the game for Jordan. Look at this. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure when he dropped. Continue. Uh, I'm not sure who dropped. Uh, oh, it's Nilfert who, who dropped here. But it doesn't matter uh, for the players um, because you still have to cast this. 
and the game is continuing. They didn't want to stop it right now. That's too dangerous. Uh, we've seen before what happens when the uh, caster drops and try to restore it. Might not work. So, um, but Jordan now, huge score lead, almost 2k, and he's got more wood, 8k wood in the bank for Jordan, while down 1k3 only, that's not enough for him, he's losing a lot of galleons. Uh, Jordan now 15 more military units on the field, and I think this might be the GG, because Doubt cannot do anything uh, to stop uh, Jordan's army right now. And having more wood, 9k, that's so huge, of course he had a lot more villagers working, and both players lost a few villagers, or maybe they killed them to get more military units out. Uh, but I think the last time Doubt has to go back with his army now, it doesn't have too much, uh, too many galleons left, only 36 military units for Doubt, and uh, gold for him very low, so he cannot pr produce too many of them anymore. And of course Jordan is going around, he's gonna try to take down the last of the galleons, or maybe take the dogs out. Uh, both is working, I guess. Uh, taking out the dogs is a little bit more important on this left hand side. And this galleon is really annoying, a lot of footage is going down for doubt here. And it looks like Jordan is winning this game, 1 hour 10 minutes already being played. Uh, such a long Team Islands game, but it's a good one, it's a really interesting one. Um, <laughs> but Jordan with more wood on the, in the bank. I think he should be able to take this game now. Uh, let me see if it's uh, no, not going faster. Game speed 175 doesn't really make difference at this point in the game. And uh, it's, uh, I'm, I fear it's only a matter of time. Uh, this is something I like. Village is trying to take the galleon down. Uh, not working. And Jordan is sending another galleon here. Uh, also, one bring the villagers cannot attack them too far away. These villagers will go down as well. And maybe uh, now trying to take a last fight here, but Jordan has more numbers. He's still got what's that, 15 more galleons in the field. And um, he's not daring to go and take down those galleons while they're under the castle. But Doubt is going to the middle, which is interesting. I uh, still got the 11 galleons here. Jordan now sending a few. Uh, I guess Jordan's galleons will go down, but we're gonna keep an eye on the middle. And Doubt trying to take a good fight now. Jordan one galleon here. Oh, transport ship. Look at this. I'm uh, lucky I spotted this. Um, still trying to keep an eye on this, but there's the transport ship going. We just see transport. Uh, close to galleon. Four villagers on Doubt's island now for Jordan. Uh, Doubt going around on the right hand side, but losing a lot of galleons while he's doing that. And we do see Arch Range is coming up for Jordan now. Doubt signing, calling the GG as expected. Yeah, maybe you saw this for it, maybe you knew this is over. And here we go. Game for Jordan, very strong game going back and forth. Doubt managed to come back in Imperial Age, get more, you know, get water control. But in the end, uh, allowing Jordan to group his army here, that was the, the main point. And of course, having no more wood on your island. That's really devastating here. Four relics up Jordan a lot, I think. I'm not sure if he got all of them, but I'm assuming he did. I'm not going to check now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this game. Pretty long one, but a very, very good one. Uh, um, very appropriate for a battle for a number one for best of 21 here. And see you in the next game. GG.